28-year-old Jonathan Dian started his business in 2015 after he could not continue his grade 9 at the Bumayong Lutheran Secondary School in Leh due to no school fees. Based in the remote Indagen village of Komba local level government in Kabum, Morobe province, he helps local farmers by buying dried coffee beans from them. <laughs> Salimon movie more coffee work awesome. You do lily or buy a lily or buy a place. You do a camp. Help him on man merry low. Buy more lily coffee na bung him. Na same time you do buy more man low carrying coffee gold. One of cars have a camp. Na pick him coffee gold. On average, Dian hires three carriers for 20 kina each to move his coffee bags from Indagen to Konge, which is a three hour walk. Sometimes, he hires a group for 100 kina to 300 kina per load so they can transport the coffee bags to the main road at Konge that leads to Kabum Station and Wasu. Awesome. One kina price now today. Start with one kina. 150. Now we play in good money blow. Coffee. Since Dian does not have resources like vehicles, money or proper business documents to move the coffee bags to bigger markets out of his village, he sells them to business persons and well-established coffee buyers in Kabum for 1 kina 80 to 2 kina per kilogram. From there, they take the coffee bags to lay to resell. Dian called on the Coffee Industry Corporation to set better prices for coffee so people in rural areas can get more from their produce. Currently, he spends 2,000 kina to buy coffee and after selling them, he earns around 2,600 or 2,700 kina. He has never made a profit of 1,000 kina or more, but he continues to buy from his people, who are mostly vulnerable members of the community, such as the elderly, widows and widowers, and single mothers. Kamela Guare, TV1 News, Lei.